Hi guys, it's Chris at the Ultimate Recycler. We're looking in the back of my van at a heap of stuff I just picked up the other day. Uh, there was these two big cupboards. They're old um, Department of Education school cupboards, early 1900s. Uh, this one here has been modified a bit at the bottom. It looks like it's had some, some rot. It might have sat in the dirt at some stage, but the rest of it's really good. And the other one's pretty cool. I kind of collect these cupboards, and I'll do a separate video on those when I get them out. But these were advertised on a Facebook buy, swap and sell group uh, and I wanted them and the price was right so we went for a drive, it was an hour away so it was a two hour drive to pick them up and while we were there the people were cleaning out a shed and there was a lot of old radio and electronics gear and I kind of a bit of a sucker for that stuff so I thought this video would just be a show and tell, I'll show you what I've got I'm not going to mention prices, I don't know what the stuff's worth, half of it I don't even know what it is but I thought you might be interested and feel free to put comments below if I don't know what something is. Uh, this thing I think is a, a bearing press. It's seized up solid. Uh, it would have had, I guess, a pressure gauge or something there. So I think I'll be repairing that one and using it in my shed. It'll be a handy gadget. It's cast iron. It's very heavy. Uh, and a lot of these I'll do... It looks like it's got some wildlife under there. A lot of these I'll probably do restoration videos on. So some of this stuff is going to last me for years as far as restoring projects. So let's go through and have a look. Um, oh, this thing here too. An oscilloscope. I've always wanted an oscilloscope. Uh, I don't have a probe with it, but I think it would probably be a goer because the guy used to be a radio TV technician and uh, it's a deceased estate, so I assume this thing probably still works. I'll be testing it out and um, if it needs fixing, I'll maybe try and fix it. And since I've never really used an oscilloscope and I'm getting into repairs where I'm going to need one, I'll have to teach myself how to use it. So that might be a project down the track too. I think it's a pretty good one, as in it's a vintage one, but it's a dual trace. And I think uh, I think the um, this particular type are quite good performers. All right, let's have a look in this box. Uh, I'm going to run out of light soon, so I just thought I'd make a start and we'll finish going through the rest of this. When I get a moment, I've got heaps and heaps of old radio valves. I don't even know, not sure what's in there. I don't even know if they're new old stock or second hand or what, no idea. That's just a little tin of very small hardware. So I won't worry about going through all the individual valves, but I'll have to sort all those out at some stage. Now, there's a lot of test equipment. This one's an insulation tester. So I don't know if I'm going to use some of this stuff or whether I'll just sell it. I pretty well wasn't buying for my shop. I was more buying because I like this stuff and I figure I'll get some useful equipment out of it and I'll get some projects out of it and a good stock of old spare parts. So some of these look pretty early. I'm not really sure. I haven't had the experience at Valve Radios yet. I'm keen to learn. Some of them could be TV valves. There's more modern sort of 50s ones down there. So some of these boxes are going to be a lucky dip, but that's part of the fun. And there's just more box uh, valves in the bottom of there. They just look more modern, but again, some could be new old stock, some could be secondhand, some might not be any good. I do have a valve tester somewhere stacked away. I've got to find that one day. So much to do. Not enough time to do it. Ah, uh, now this one... I didn't look at the stuff too closely when we were up there. It was pretty much just fossick around the shed, make a big pile in the middle of the shed, and we just worked out a price. Um, I just really just plucked a figure out of the air, and they were keen to have it cleaned up. This is a, a nice old turntable. Uh, a Pi all-transistor stereo phone. So you've got a radio... Uh, it can take a microphone and it has a turntable. So it's pretty cool how it folds up like that. No idea if it goes. I did notice the, um, I think the speakers are on the end and they swing around or detachable. It's clearly a bit weathered or it's had mice over it or something. And there should probably be a back cover on that, but it looks complete. And then what's this, a pack of cigarettes? Maybe the old guy was a smoker. Oh no, there's just some little screws in there. So he still could have been a smoker, I guess, and he just repurposed the packet. So 
so that'll be a decent project uh, I'd like to try and get that going I would imagine that dates to the 70s uh, it's transistor but um, it doesn't look much newer than the 70s all right well I'll drag a few more things out of here before we lose the light okay have though with the valves we looked at before have a look at all these others there's um looks like there's probably a lot of TV valves in there but there's also heaps of heaps of ones in boxes I don't know if they're all valves this doesn't look like a valve box oh there we have a, a valve voltmeter so who knows what's going to be in here there's some pretty old boxes here so that's going to be a bit of fun oh, it looks like I'll have a good stock of valves but um, there could be something you know who knows what's in the bottom of the box there's a old 12 volt vibrator for I think they were for car radios uh, some sort of coil not too sure anyway that's all the valves so I'll take them down to the shed and then we'll see what else is in the van it wasn't all radio gear I picked up this old steel chainsaw it's only a little one but uh, that steel logo is an early one um, there's no chain break on it so it's probably 1970s could even be late 60s I don't know if it goes, obviously the recoil is um, broken, but it's got a near new chain on it, so we'll give that a check over, they'll probably do a separate video on that one. And we have more electronic stuff, this is a Philips, uh, some sort of amplifier I guess, it might be a PA amplifier. Let's turn it around and have a look. Uh, it's a valve one, as an output. So I'm not sure, I'm guessing it's a PA amplifier, but correct me if I'm wrong. We have a little tester here, which looks like it's a transistor diode tester. Transistor checker, yes, Hansen. Um, looks like it's been damaged a little bit. It might have had some weight pressing on those and it's bent the front panel in. Hopefully we can fix that, because that might be a handy little gadget. Uh, this item here is a pretty lethal looking thing but i think this is a car battery checker tester a vintage one so that's pretty cool nice piece of equipment i probably won't use that uh, a few little transistor radios a hmv which looks in pretty good condition i did leave a lot of radios there that had badly damaged cases and and corrosion and that sort of stuff there was just so much there i just made a pile of what i thought was the better stuff this one is a Sanyo shortwave, medium wave. The case is a bit average, but usually the case does a good job at protecting the radio underneath. And this Radiola, AWA Radiola, probably not in the best condition, that one. I may not have, probably shouldn't have grabbed that one. But anyway, it was just a, a grab and make a pile. As I said, we didn't have a lot of time. Still got a battery in it, look at that. So look, if they're not restorations, they might be handy for parts. Uh, now this thing, is looks like it was military got the broad arrow there the department of defense and it's a tester of some sort what's it saying safety ohm ohm meter so it looks like it's got a crank handle so i'm not sure what that is um leave some comments again if you know well, i'm sure i'll be able to work it out but really this is the best look i've had at any of this stuff i just sort of went with a hunch and just grabbed things and put them in a pile now the guy was a TV technician, so this is apparently for something to do with testing the picture tubes, perhaps. I grabbed this spool of, uh, of cable because, you know, it's awesome to have the nice vintage woven wire as uh, when I'm restoring vintage projects. It's probably appliance cord, I guess, but it's uh, all new old stock, so that will be handy. I think you can buy it brand new anyway, but uh, got the rigid edge real thing there. Uh, this is not a suitcase full of small unmarked bills from some bank robbery. It's a Sanyo Portable Stereo Music Centre. Have a look at that. Cassette, turntable and radio. So that'll be a good restoration project perhaps. More test equipment. What's this one? It's a Heathcote Vel Voltmeter very dusty a little bit of a melt on one of the knobs there but um it might be usable i don't know if i'll have a use for it but it's 
pretty cool piece of vintage test equipment. So I'll have to investigate that one a bit further. And this is a larger piece and it's an RF signal generator. And I have a feeling I probably wanted to get one of those. Um, it might go well with the oscilloscope, look good on the bench anyway. Um, RCA, it's vintage, it's probably 1950s. So we might see if we can get that one going in a future video. There was a few more transistor radios. This one's a... don't know. Looks like the badge is missing. Medium wave, short wave. And this other little one looks in pretty good condition. It's a HMV. And even the case looks quite good in that one. So we've got plenty of little transistors. Here's another piece of test equipment. This is a signal level meter. So I think that's for... Um, it's got an input, 75 ohm input, that would be an antenna. So it might be for tuning in the TV antenna. So we'll do some further checking on that one. I might not have a use for that because I'm not really going to get into TV repairs. But that's pretty cool. The case is not much good. How's this big heavy thing at the back? I'll see if I can drag it forward. It's Department of Defence again. And it's a frequency... I can't actually move it from here. Frequency control... Um, I guess it's a signal generator of some sort. I don't know. Feel free to give me some information on that one. I'll try and get in there. It's a little bit out of my reach. And it's very heavy. Maybe it's all that gold-plated pins the military used made it so heavy. I think it's just in a really robust case. It might be built like the original black boxes. Anyway, it's a nice, cool piece of equipment. I may never use it. I might, it might never actually be usable. But it looks complete. And I'd say it probably dates to the 40s. Anyway, if nothing else, it's a great decorator piece. But yeah, if you know something about that, let me know. Uh, the last few things. This is the most heavy-duty light housing you would ever see. No idea what it's off. Tested to 75 pounds per square inch. That's high pressure. Pyrex glass made in England. It almost looks like I wouldn't imagine a, a light assembly in a submarine or something. I have no idea. It could be military. Don't know. Um, that might be a really cool outside light for my shed. Yeah, nice industrial look there. Now, two other things. This one... I grabbed this purely because it was just bizarre. Um, it says it's a phone phone deck. It's English made, and it's got a tag on here. I don't know that that tag's as old as what the thing is. I would have thought it was 1950s. Hang on, there's a tag on the back. Phone deck, Branson, Birmingham. So it's definitely English made. Now, the only thing I can think of is that it might be to do with telephones. There's a switch there. So it almost looks like you would hang a handpiece in that. So perhaps it's like a table um, loudspeaker for a phone. For like a 1950s conference. Who knows? That's really weird. I'm sure someone watching will know what that is. Let me know. Pretty cool piece. It's actually in pretty good condition. I love that artwork there, the little decal there. It's cool. All right, well, restorer, I don't know. We'll find out more on that one. I've never seen another one of those. And the last thing is this box of bits and pieces. And on top of this box is something I have no idea. It um, looks like a giant jar with filaments in it like a valve it's a w v perhaps uh, here we go what's it say here radiotron made in australia uh, i'm thinking maybe that could be military it might be some sort of huge glass rectifier no idea so let me know on that one don't know when it would date to could be 50s perhaps the font on those, on the writing on the back, January, is that a date code? Maybe not. No idea. Anyway, there's a good one. I'll have to research that. But if you could let me know, that would help. And the rest of this box is just some various 
meters we found some nice vintage ones that's um in a little carry case by Department of Defense again for testing electric firing circuits which include firing heads or detonators so yeah that's cool and some just some good old GE Bakelite meters I love the old meters they've got so much character uh, there's some air meters more modern ones yeah lots of Bakelite ones most of them would be English made I would think so yeah I like these things um, whether I ever use them I'm not sure but um, if I don't I'm sure they'll be saleable but yeah I'll go into my workshop for now you've got to have a well stocked workshop even if you never use the parts what's this this box contains one key Morse type it's a Morse code key uh, yeah so just some meters so how's that for a pickup what do you guys reckon let me know some comments certainly if you can help me identifying some things but um, all the piles still out here what a great haul I can't wait to get into my shed and start cleaning it up and investigating and I'll have to sort out all those valves um, and if I double up on a lot I suppose I could try and sell some maybe I should try and find my valve tester all right well thanks for watching I look forward to some of your feedback hope you've enjoyed this um, I've saved a heap of stuff I don't think it was destined for landfill but you never know the family needed to clean the shed up and if I don't use it repair it or do a restoration video on it I'll sell it so I'm sure it'll all end up in in loved homes so uh, there you go thanks for watching catch you in the next video